The National Programme for Strawberry Breeding has been based at East Morling since 1983. We have developed efficient techniques and systems for making crosses from parents with known attributes. The objective of this work is to provide the growers with varieties that overlap for a long season of cropping, together with excellent fruit quality and disease resistance. To do this, the strawberry breeder has to remove all the stamens of the strawberry flower to be pollinated in the early stages of its development. This is known as emasculation. The flowers from the other chosen plant are removed and put into a specially prepared dish which is labelled with the crossing number of the strawberry plant. The petals are then cut off the flower to make it easier to see the stamen. The labelled dishes are then placed in a heated cabinet for a few hours to allow the anthers to dehiss and release their pollen. The next stage is to manually pollinate the chosen plant. The chosen plant is carefully checked off against a list of proposed crossings to be made. This controlled manual pollination can be done in two different ways. Here we see the D-petal flower being rubbed against the female receptacle of the chosen plant to achieve thorough and even pollination. Often the pollen from the chosen cross is placed in an Eppendorf tube for later use. The anthers with their pollen are carefully pulled off the flower and placed in the Eppendorfs. These are then stored in the fridge, which keeps the pollen fresh for later use. All of the Eppendorfs are carefully labelled, so that no contamination from another flower can take place. The other way to manually pollinate is demonstrated here. Using a brush, the pollen is taken from the Eppendorf tube and applied to the female receptacle of the chosen plant. The next stage is to wait. As the plants grow they are tested and trialled and eventually tasted. It takes seven years from the crossing stage to identifying a variety of strawberry which might be of interest to the strawberry grower.